Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Hi Capricorns, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as the cross watcher of the Capricorn. And this is gonna be for the first part of September. All right, let's see, what messages do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You guys have, you're very close to achieving your goal, Gibius. Gosh, damn it. hold on, please. Oh, uh, pardon all the sound effects for bending over. We're at that age, honey, where we gotta, oh, you know, we gotta warm up to the shit. You're very close to achieving your goal, Gibius Moon. The end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. And then you have nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. How interesting. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel is what I see. And it feels like the outcome is not set in stone yet. The end, the, the person that you end up marrying or meeting, the job, it's like you're still in the tunnel. Like it, you still have it. It's like, it's like sometimes I think we get really worried like, oh, so this is it? Oh, so this is just this job? So it's just like this, all I have are these guys, these women? There's an energy surrounding you guys of, shit look at that love and new beginnings shall I say more need I say more no I don't have to say more love and new beginnings so obviously there's a new beginning here in love and I think it's something that you could you may have I okay well, as soon as I said that I felt in my chest that feeling of disappointment <sighs> you know that feeling of like how when it's something you really really want but you, you don't get it and then so you're like really freaking disappointed and I had that weighing down on me like just now when I thought about it, it was like that feeling in my chest of like oh. I think some of you are going to be pleasantly surprised at what awaits you at the end of the tunnel the tunnel could be really symbolic of you being in the cocoon it could be really symbolic of you being in the birth canal Four of Cups and the Six of Wands flew out. Four of Cups. She's kind of like, she's yearning for something. You know? She's yearning for this one cup that hasn't quite yet been in her grasp, in her reach. The Six of Wands maybe it just sort of like presents itself too when it's time you know the six of wands can be victory and success and public recognition but it has this feeling of a presentation of it like ta -da! could be a king of swords for some of you aquarius gemini libra for some right there's something here where the worst is over it's the worst it's gonna get. The end is very close, which is gorgeous because that now means it's a new beginning, right? You have to have the end in order for the, for the new to come. If they're one and the same. So for those that are trying to prolong the ending, that's how come the new beginning is not here yet. See what I'm saying? King of Swords, he's very cool, calm, and collected. You can't quite read him, but cold-faced. Could also be that an energy like this, he can't take it anymore of being cold faced and, and, and detached. He cracks. So if this is a person that in the past has kept distance or has, you know, been emotionally detached from you or you then, because hello Capricorns, emotionally detached. That's how I am, I'm a Capricorn moon. I'm emotionally detached. Whoever this is that has been the king of swords, because it can be male or female, masculine feminine whatever you crack <laughs> that's what creates the new is like you crack and then it's the end of that strength having the strength to be vulnerable could be leo too right but it's having the strength to be vulnerable that takes more strength than anything else doesn't it 
Ace of Pentacles, there's a solid committed offer that comes in here. Look, fell with this, with the new beginnings and love, right? Solid committed offer. This would be a long-term relationship. This could be literally engagement and marriage for some of you, okay? It's also moving in career change for me. Eight of Swords fell here. Can't get you out of my head. I can't stop thinking about you. I tried to cut myself off emotionally from you. I can't keep doing it. I think I fucking love you. It's like that energy of like, I can't, I can't, if somebody can't stop thinking about somebody. You would never know, stone cold. Can't stop thinking about you, them. Three of, excuse me, five of swords. Mind games, manipulation, this is self-sabotage all here you see how they're all like the same color scheme also you know this person right here could have been very but the shit that went on beneath the surface or behind that mask bruh thinking about you non-stop this could be you too now okay take it as it resonates thinking about somebody non-stop not showing emotions pretending like they don't give a shit actually self-sabotage though yeah because it's like you're keeping yourself away from you have judgment here judgment can be a, a resurrection of something yeah something old resurfaces i remember i said earlier that i, I had that feeling of like disappointment tell me why this morning when i first woke up and i have a capricorn moon okay when i first woke up the first thing i thought about was i was starting to think about and yearn for a person that i kind of crossed off my list and i thought nah, it's not gonna happen and it was strange how when i woke up today i kind of felt like there's still hope or something like and it wasn't like i'm sitting here waiting you know like hello honey bring the next one in shit you know we are not waiting for nobody but how come at that today like of all days i go I think he still has a possibility there's a possibility there's a sh he's a shot like you know it's like and then i'm thinking about that earlier about how being really disappointed that something didn't pan out you being kind of slightly disappointed thinking that that they're not going to be waiting for you at the end at the end of the tunnel but like what what if for some of you it is now don't get me wrong for some of you this is something so brand new and so exciting but for some of you, it's something that you crossed off your list. Something's arriving that's already arrived. Huge channeled message from last year that I got right. Something's arriving that's already arrived. Can't fight the moonlight. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why are they playing that to me? Leanne Rhymes. Can't fight the moonlight. You guys remember that song? I cannot remember the exact details of the lines right now because all they'll let me hear is that one line right there. It's from Coyote Ugly, the movie. Love that freaking movie. Love the soundtrack even more. Can't fight the moonlight. Almost 99.9% .9 sure it's Leanne Rhymes. Hold on, please. Because I've got to read these lyrics. Give me a second. And of course, my damn laptop. I mean, excuse me, my iPad is dead. Go Google the lyrics. Can't fight the moonlight. That's this. That magnetic attraction, that draw, a moth to a flame. I heard can't fight the moonlight. That's what he did. He tried to, or she, whoever this King of Swords did. Remember, you guys, if you watch me, and especially on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, and you watch my lives, you would hear every time the King of Swords would come up, I'd be irritated. I was irritated because he's so calm and, and so cool, calm and collected and so emotionally detached and so blase. It's like, show me you, motherfucker. Show me your shit. Show me your vulnerability. Show me what makes you weak. Show me what makes you strong. Show me something. And they do, they crack. Seven of Cups, there's a dream thing here. The subconscious mind, a dream or a daydream, changes things. The world, this could be coming full circle. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune back to back. See how this fell here though, right? With the whole scheme of breaking and, and whatever. That was this person's karmic lesson, was to feel. 
and to be open to feel again and to be open to be vulnerable. That was their lesson. They open up, they learn their lesson, the wheel turns, right? Lesson completed, big, huge life cycle completed with the world. This also can symbolize distance between two people or travel. These two cards here are telling us cycles are over, yes? You know, with this Pisces full moon coming up on the 1st and 2nd of September, depending where you are in the world, Pisces is a sign about karma. It's going to be about releasing and, and cutting off things that are karmic once and for all. It's going to also be about, you know, these huge karmic lessons that may have haunted you from lifetime to lifetime. Some of you finally learned the lesson in this life and it's like done, finally, over, finito. All right, let's get you guys some presence, awareness, attention, reality, and connection. Being in the present fucking moment. How's about stop worrying about what's waiting for you in the tunnel? And how about you just enjoy the quietness in the tunnel, in the cocoon? It's about the reality being connected you know it's about like when you meditate they tell you what it is is you're supposed to focus on your breath because it keeps you in the present moment keeps your mind from wandering that feels really important for you guys somehow breath of life to yaha is breath of life you have relationships intimacy freedom acceptance and trust intimacy between two people that you absolutely do not feel this way with anybody else you do not it's this connection that you have with somebody that is just defies logic aquarius aquarius is freaking reading for august the title of it was this connection defies logic so for some of you you have aquarius in your chart or this person is an aquarius okay aquarius this is the star the star is about, <laughs> it literally says detached. And didn't I just go all the way off about this king of swords being emotionally detached? You also have the tower. They crack, they fucking break. I, for a minute now, I keep getting the tower and feeling like it's falling in love. This person was trying to avoid falling in love. They just were. They were just like, I'm going to stay detached. And it's like, I remember around April, May, I can't remember when it was. I had a reading with somebody. And, and they were just like, well, what the, what's the deals? And I was like, I'm running. They're like, what are you running from? I was like, love. Like, why? Well, it's not really that I'm running. It's just that I'm just okay being single. Like, I love it. Like, I just, I'm flourishing right now. I'm building and I'm succeeding. And I just love not having to answer to anybody. And it was like, I love it. And they were like, you know, it's like right there. Like, you, do you feel it? Do you see it? I'm like, obviously I can feel it. You know, I'm an aqua. I can feel it. I know. But I'm like, I was doing the whole King of Swords thing. Like, trying to be emotionally detached. And... I was afraid to fall in love. And the tower being here, <sighs> sudden, unexpected, it's falling in love. Someone tried to seriously run away and avoid falling in love. Your strength again, heavy Leo energy for some. But this is strength. <sighs> really determined, you know? Determined to stay emotionally detached. And it just didn't quite work that way. Oh my God. <gasps> take my breath away something with the the breath thing for you guys swans bitch soulmate twin flame the one a pair of things blooming love faith and deep soul connection i constantly see the swans and it reminds me of how when someone told me this beautiful soul she read for me a couple of times and she told me that when i start to see the swans more and more and more it means he's even closer and closer and closer and i can't even tell you guys how much in the past just four weeks or so i've seen the swan so fucking much i'm just like where is he then it symbolizes soulmate love twin flame the one right this is even like the lover's energy it's mirroring each other too mirror images polar opposites 
I'm hearing. I'm gonna just kind of read out to you guys what I hear while I start to feel out what I'm gonna do next. I think I need another. Oracle deck for you guys. Oh, falling in love, trying to avoid it. Oh boy. You know, Capricorns have this reputation of being cold, and it's because they have that like Fort Knox, you know, thing going on, you know, that barrier. But once you get past that barrier, you got to remember, yeah, Capricorn is you know the, the devil in the tarot deck and the devil is like about fixated and like obsessed and just like you know and so it's like yeah they may not fall in love immediately but when they do bitch oh my god look at that move forward to the future when i fucking told you oh i got the chills i see a tunnel and i see you just like right there don't stop and just freak out that I'm in the tunnel and there is no end to this. I don't see the light. I heard a long time ago a quote that said, the illusion is not the tunnel. The illusion is the light at the end of the tunnel because you're the fucking light. Move forward, look towards the dang future. Don't worry about what the fuck happened in the past. Don't worry about what the fuck may not happen in the future. Oh, what's gonna be waiting for me at the end of the tunnel? I'm just scared of what if it's what I want. How about you just enjoy this moment being in the tunnel right now and going, this is progress, I'm in the tunnel. Some people aren't even in the goddamn tunnel. They're not even in the damn fucking cocoon. They're not even in the motherfucking womb. Hold on. Sorry guys, I'm actually baking. <laughs> I talked about it in the Virgo reading that I made Funfetti cupcakes and I have banana bread in my oven right now. I used to have my own baking business, honey. So, you know, this is not new to me, although it is new to me because it's been a hell of a minute since I baked. But tell me why today I woke up feeling like Betty fucking Crocker. Felt like I wanted to bake up, up a fucking storm. Probably gonna go whip up some damn mashed potatoes first from scratch or some shit. I mean, I really not, but you know it's that feeling so i don't know anyways i want you guys to look towards the future you got a new beginning coming is it new though it could be your last card is the wealthy man number 13 big dick energy bitch capricorn is the sign of elite the sign of wealth even if you're a woman you the wealthy motherfucking man remember what Cher's mom said Cher's mom said honey please go marry a rich man and Cher told her mom i am a rich man big dick energy you attract big dick energy because you successful you're going to attract that energy here we go here we go not only that this person's got their mind on you they cannot stop thinking about you they crack or you whoever it is that's been trying not to fall in love all right thank you for all of your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi and if you have tiktok it's the same handle as my instagram follow me there and also if you want to book a reading with me please click on the description box below of all of my youtube videos in the description box you will see everything i offer shoot me an email and put it in the title of the email exactly what it is you want the prices vary so i need to know what to invoice you okay all right you guys i'll see you guys later Love.